A long hockey history here on Long Island, and we are back for the Islanders and one of the best places to watch a game here in America. Two teams looking stark for a win, and we are set to go. The Penguins are going to start with the puck after taking the opening draw. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. Frustrating, James. The score is 0 0. And oh, what a miss as it goes off the post and out. Face off coming up as the puck goes up and over the glass. We're still in the early stages of this period. We've still got zeros on the board. And they win the face off and set up to go on the attack. Oh, you gotta love the effort as he blocks that. Covers it up, and we'll get a stoppage in play. Bronski's favorite move is switching to the backhand and burying it. His beauty backhand zone ability is surprisingly accurate. Barzell's usually scouted before any key matchup because he's a special player and a good point getter. I'll be keeping tabs on these players all night long, and let's see if one of them can lead their team to victory. Guys, back to you. Man advantage takes to the ice. It's our first opportunity to get a glance at the special teams unit. First power play of the game and an opportunity to go up by one. And analytics will tell you, when you score first, chances are you win the game. Trying to shake loose. He's in. Looking to clear the defensive zone. And he moves the puck across the blue line out of the defensive zone. A little banging and crashing now. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the wall. Takes the feed. And he keeps that one out. Oh, he saved it. What a stop. Well, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck a clear message to his team that he's behind him. He's going to be the foundation tonight. Still lots of time left in the period. Still scoreless in this one. And the power play unit comes up empty on that one. Well, being on a power play is a privilege, James. Trust me, I know I was never on it. When you get out there, you have to have some urgency and find a way to get it to the middle of the ice and get some opportunities on net. There was none of that. The Islanders get a hold of the puck along the boards. Pittsburgh's got possession here in the neutral zone. Moves it around along the half wall. And it's a quick pass to Pedersen. And cut that one out of the net. Puck is frozen and we will get a face off. Teams are ready for the draw. The linesman about to drop the puck. The Islanders win the draw. Now a quick pass to Holmstrom. Takes the pass. Oh, caught him with his head down. Quick feed to Raquel. Takes the feed. Pittsburgh's in on the offensive attack now. Let's get the call. Eller's getting called for two minutes here by the officials. play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. You're struggling on the power play. You have to find a way to get the shot through to the net. And you have to crash. Not one player, not two. Everyone has to drive. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. And he slides it quickly to Engvall. The Penguins have possession shorthanded. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. Here's a chance with the stop. Ajo's 
moving the puck through his own zone. Quick pass to O'Connor. Through the neutral zone, up along the wing. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Looking to break out here on the power play. Moves it to Ajo. Here's a pass down low. Pittsburgh's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. And they clear that puck. And now he angles it across to Lee. Quick shot! Great save from in tight. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Smith's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Ellers' penalty is almost expired. That goes off a twig. The Islanders fail to capitalize on the power play. Both sides back to even strength. We are still tied. Well, the power play had a ton of ozone possession time, but it was all perimeter, and they didn't find ways to move the coverage. It was easy as a PK unit you know, to stand in that box formation and not move. You have to find ways to create some motion and pull the coverage inside the dots. Give some nothing in front. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. Great hand eye by the goaltender poking it away. There's a shot. Oh, that's got to hurt. What a play. The Islanders carry it along the wall. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. Horvath's trying to... Oh, no! Oh, beautiful save on the play! And you've got to love these one-on-one -on -one battles. In particular, the goaltender so aggressive, tracks the puck and makes the save. And now it's grabbed by Dobson. And he takes the pass. Big save just as time runs out. Face off looming as both centers get into position. There you go. Period number one is done. We're going to come back in just a quick moment with period number two. Stay with us. Fans, don't forget to find those draw boxes throughout the arena for our signed jersey, which we will give away tonight. Welcome back, everybody. James Sabalski with you. Period number two, the middle frame, ready to go. Both teams still feeling each other out as we are scoreless here to start the second. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up for the first 20 minutes? The Islanders, he scores! Jake Gitzel with the finish. Well, the goaltender, he's going to want this one back, James. I thought that he was set to position. Just the blast of the shot, it hit him. He got a good chunk of it, but it went in. You can see the frustration in the body language. Pittsburgh's gone up by one here in the second period, and I like that jump in their step we're starting to see here now. We've really seen an uptick in their momentum in the last few shifts, and they're rewarded with that goal, James. They've got to continue to attack the net, ski downhill, and not be afraid to get to the paint. Moves it quickly over to Rust. Puck grabbed by Crosby. Throws it on goal. Puck scooped up by Barzell. Here's a short pass to Horvath. Oh, look at this chance. Oh, that goes just wide of the net. I think he had more time than he thought. Scores! Perfectly positioned to bury the rebound. James, these are the kind of pesky goals that create a ton of energy for your team. The rebound pops out after the shot. You have to have the hard stick be heavy on it with it on the ice, battling to compete for it. He does it and he buries it. New York's really changed the complexion of this game. Look at this. We're all evened up here in period number two, Cheryl. Yeah, and to do it at the beginning of the second is key. You really want to dictate pace and send a direct message to your opponent, and they do that with that goal. There's an injection of energy with that hit. New York's gained the line and into the zone. And that's off a stick. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We are all tied up in this one. 
And there's a little help from your friends right there from off the wing coming up with the puck. The Penguins gain possession in their own end. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. Dobson's got the puck in his own zone. And he feeds it down to Engvall. Inside the offensive end, now down the left. Fires it, gets in front of it. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Pittsburgh's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Pedersen's crossed the line and gained the zone. Takes it up, but he's still got the puck. Stones him in front. That's a great save, but the goaltender had to get out to the top of his crease, take away all the ice, and make himself as big as possible. Kellick's an effective stick checker in his own zone, guys, and that helps out his team's defensive game. We call that his stick em up zone ability, and it's what helps disrupt his opponent's attack. Quick feed to Carlson. New York's got control of it now from their own end. With possession along the wall. He got all of that one. Puck picked up by Crosby. Over the line they come. Quick pass to Crosby. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Takes a shot, and that one's denied. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Solid check to slow him down. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Past the halfway mark of this period, we got a tie game. Pittsburgh's got it in the offensive zone. Here's a chance. We got a penalty coming up here. Whistle blown, stopping the play. When your opponent doesn't have the puck, you can't interfere with their forward progress too much. You can cheat a little bit, James, but that's over the top. The Islanders once again send out their power play unit. They haven't scored on their power play yet. They've earned this opportunity. They'll get another look at it, look for different adjustments to be made. The Penguins come up with the defensive zone draw. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And they get the puck out of the zone, and that's a break for the squad. Oh, uh, yeah, this PK unit, they're out there for a reason, James. You have to be able to clear the puck, and it's easier said than done, but they make no mistake this time. Passes the puck over. To oh, this looks dangerous. A chance. Wow! O'Connor's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Pajot's won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Trying to get back on the attack now. Blocked in front. Gets the puck in deep. New York's got the puck. With some open space at center. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Taken along the wall by Pedersen. New York's got... Scores! Put in the special and special teams, they take the lead! And often when you're on special teams, James, you can go either way in terms of the momentum. If you don't generate anything, it goes the other way. If you generate something, it's all in your favor. I'll tell you what, that was execution. That's exactly how the coach would have drawn it up, James. I mean, you move the puck around the outside to disrupt the coverage. You open up the middle of the ice, and then you get a glorious shot chance, and you capitalize. Excellent work. New York strike late here in period number two. What a huge momentum lifter for them. And I don't know if they'll want the intermission, James, because you can certainly feel their temperature rising, can't you? It's when you feel that certain something coming at you. It's like a wave, and they have it right now. Devastating hit into the wall. I think he tried to turn him into drywall on that play. In the final moments of this period, New York's got a one goal lead. From off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers scrummed up. New York's got the puck along the boards. 
Dobson's taking it from his own end. Moves it to Malkin. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Angles it over to Engvall. Puck sent down the ice. We'll get an icing. New York's coaching staff must be impressed with what they're seeing from their players tonight. Lots of pucks on net, and they continue to lead late in the second. And they win the draw in the offensive zone, and they go to work. The pressure's on the defensive side of the puck, but they win it clean, and they have an opportunity right away with the tired group that they're playing against. The Islanders looking against the half wall. Great defensive effort with the stick. And there's the horn, two down, one more to go. Both teams will get a chance to uh, catch their breath and get ready for a big third period next. Players are set, officials are set. Third period action is coming up. They have dropped the puck here in the third. Two thirds of the way to the finish line and this one for regulation time, Cheryl. How do you view it? The Penguins can't get frustrated by a hot goaltender, James. They've been all over the offensive zone. They've thrown a ton of pucks to net. I think they just got to get some net front presence here, some flash screens, try and take away the eyes of the goaltender and put one by. New York's have been on a roll offensively tonight, and they lead it here early in this third period. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. And that's deflected. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. Can't keep a hold of it. And he slides it quickly to Holmstrom. The Islanders will play it from the defensive zone. Holmstrom's got the puck. Sends it down low. Knocks the puck down with a stick. And he was ready for that save. Sends it in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Horvath's crossed the line and is on the attack now. Takes it at center. And that's knocked away. The Penguins grab possession to the puck. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck now. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Moves it quickly over to Smith. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. The Islanders are clinging to a 2-1 lead. The Penguins win the faceoff. Chance right in front. Fantastic save. Center feed. Oh, what a chance. And he fanned on the puck. They put the puck into the offensive end. Receives the pass. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Puts a little mustard on the hit to knock the puck loose. And it's kicked away. Picked up along the boards by Pulak. There's the whistle as the play was offside. Well past the midway mark of this period. New York's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. They take possession as he locks him up off the faceoff. Lee's got it in the offensive zone. And that's intercepted in the defensive end. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. Sends the pass down low. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Pulak. Sends a pass over. Wallstrom's been really quiet tonight, James. And typically in the booth, we find a way to talk about him a lot. And we haven't tonight. But the good part is this game is still close. And the best players, they find a way to bring their best when it matters most. New York's got the puck against the half wall. And that goes off course off a body. Pittsburgh's going on the attack as they gain the zone. Shot just gets a piece of it to keep it out. Wow. The Penguins gain possession along the wall. Sends it over to Wallstrom. And now he moves it quickly to Lee. Grabs it in his own end. Nearing the final minute of regulation. New York's got a hold of it against the wall. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Pedersen. Here's a short pass to Marcel. Feeds the puck to Rust. Gains 
the zone from the right side. And he loses control of the puck. The Penguins really need a goal here. They pulled the goalie and the extra attackers out. Passes over to Pollock. Quick feed to Crosby. Handles the pass. Perpetually had a horrible habit of biting the nails. This was the true definition of nail biter. Yeah, because you knew that the play could change, or one play could change the landscape of the game because it was that close and trying to find a way to open it up. Neither team did. It was neck on neck the whole way of the game here. I'm exhausted after watching that. Well, on behalf of Cheryl Pounder, my broadcast partner, my name is James Sabalski. Thank you so much for joining us. A fun night of hockey tonight, and we look forward to bringing you more action soon. See you.